Hey guys, Seb here. This is uh, the fifth Red Power tutorial in my Red Power 2 tutorial series. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you about frames and frame motors. Right, uh, there are two parts to the frames. There are the frame motors, which are these things. They are extremely expensive to craft, um, and it's a really long process crafting these, as you can see. Um, and then there are the fra support frames. The frame motors move the support frames. I'm going to be explaining soon. But for now, just forget about the support frames. Um, frame motors are blocks that move other blocks. As you can see here on this frame motor, it has what looks like a conveyor belt. Now, the frame motors need electricity to function. That's why I have all these solar panels. That's just that. Okay, when you place a block here, it will move that block. Quite simple. You can use your uh, sonic screwdriver to, uh, if you're standing normally, it will uh, switch which way the arrow is pointing and which way it will be moving the items. As you can see, now it will be moving it that way. And if I were to, right, if I were to hit it like so, it will move it that way. If I'm not in the way, that is. Okay, if I were to hit it so, it, to change it so that it would be pushing downwards, it would not move the block, of course. Oh god, there we go. Nothing will happen. It will cease to function. Right, let's just hit it once more and not break the lever. There we go. Okay. Um, another thing is if you hold shift while right click on it, it will change which face it's using, not just rotating the arrow. It's quite simple. Makes sense. And okay. Now, uh, the awesome thing about frame motors is that they can move frames. Uh, they can move other frame motors, sorry. As you can see. And they can move chests with items inside them. They can basically move any blocks with entity values. As you can see, they just get created and then everything's fine. Right, now to the frames. The frames part is the interesting part. Because these motors can move normal blocks, but they can also move what's called frames. These frames are like sticky blocks, kind of. Right, as you see, when we hit this lever, the frames will move. Okay. We're just gonna move this lever. That's another part of the explanation. Um, let's place it here. Right. What you'll be able to see now is that all of these frames just get this out of the way. All of these frames move together as a whole because they all stick to each other. You can see this as like normal blocks that have um, stick uh, sticky stuff on them to connect stuff. Right, this means that if I play place blocks on the side, it will move those blocks with it. As you can see. Very interesting. Okay, if we were to break these blocks, place them down here, the same thing would happen. It will just move it. God, can I reach it from here? Okay, um, yeah, that's basically how that works. Now, if there are, well, yeah, you can build out frame motors in any direction you want. They'll always move by one frame motor. It's kind of defying physics, the laws of physics, but yeah. As you can see, if I hit it, whoop, it'll all move. Quite cool. Okay, one thing to note is that if the frame mo frames, the support frames are trying to move a block they cannot move, like the ground, it will cease to function. Basically, it will just not move at all, as you can see. Because this frame here is trying to move this dirt block. Now, if I break the blocks around it, it'll be able to move that dirt block, and the whole thing will move. Or not. Why would that not move? Let us see. Right, it was just because I had to hit it another time. Yeah, uh, that's how that works. Okay, um, now, I know what you're thinking. 
what if I want to build a structure up against some blocks that I, I don't want it to move the blocks? Like, if I had a wall here, let's say. And, uh, okay, this won't be able to work. Because... Will it? It actually should be able to work. Yeah, it just moves these two blocks only. What if you didn't want those blocks to be moved? I'm just gonna add some onto here. Well, then... What you would have to do is to create anti, anti sticky covers. Um, it's basically just normal covers. I just like to call them anti sticky covers because that's basically what they do. When you you have to use covers, not panels. When you place covers on the side of these, they turn the same color. So it works for aesthetics and also for what you're going to see now. Now, if we place these blocks back and place these covers all the way here. As the frames move, they won't connect to the blocks here. As you can see, it just keeps moving. And moving. Until if I hit it once more, there will be no more sticky cover. And if I hit it again, it will begin to pull soon. Oh, it ran out of frames. Where did it? Yes, okay. This won't be able to pull because. If I were to hit it without these sticky covers here, anti-sticky cover, sorry, uh, without the covers there, this block would pull this block, and this block would pull this block, and this block would pull this block. Unfortunately, these are not pulling anything. This block would have to pull that block, but these other two blocks here are in the way. These two blocks are in the way, therefore, it will not function. Right. Um, another thing to note. I'm just gonna break this wall. Okay, um, frames need to, if you want to move objects, they have to be connected directly to frames. As I showed you before, this block will not move, this block will not move, and this block will not move. So these three blocks will not move. But the problem is if you place it in front, you're trying to move a block that's not being moved by frames. It's not like pistons that are able to push several blocks in front. Frames aren't move able to push anything but what they're connected to. So this won't function at all. As you can see, it's not moving. If we were to break that block, these three would move, but these three would just stay in place. As you will be able to see. Now, the whole thing moved, but these got, uh, these stayed back. Right, okay, so I hope you uh, understand the idea of using covers uh, to prevent the frames from sticking onto things. Now I'm going to be showing you how to use the um, panels. Panels are basically the same thing, except for the fact that, as you can see, they also have a different look. Because, well, first of all, they're thicker, which isn't shown. It's a glitch. These are supposed to be thicker here. But you can see it keeps the outline, whereas this doesn't keep the same outline. Right. The panels have a special purpose, because when placed, not like that. Break these. Okay, when placed, they will bring wiring and stuff. So let's bring some alloy wire and let's say a uh, timer. Right, actually, I'm only gonna need one. Or a couple, actually. My test will bring a couple. This is basically just to show that the panels are created so that they will be able to carry wiring like so okay so basically if we were to make this move the wiring will move along whereas if we were to place these things on covers in the panels but um covers instead of panels then we would not get the same result as you can see when we move the frames they pop off right uh, basically the reason for this is that these are made to move um, 
basically as long as they move the side becomes slippery so the timer and red alloy wire believe that they don't have anything to stand on and if you break the block underneath either of them they'll pop off right uh that's basically all you need to know about frames um yeah it's you can do some pretty complex things with it really complex things i'm not gonna explain any of that because right i made a frames door tutorial a simple door tutorial i'll put an annotation right in the middle here somewhere um so go check that out if you want to know more about frames or how to implement the knowledge that you now have because I know that just when I learned about frames, I had no idea what to use it for anything because it was completely confusing. It was awesome, but confusing. Um, and even if you do understand it completely, it's hard to n like apply it. You have to play around with it for a bit until you get used to it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, all that business, and have a great day. Bye.